Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel and I've got a little mini game for you here. Guys, going to the carnivals as a kid, one of my favorite things to do was to uh, was to, to take the uh, the aim on the shooting games or throwing the ball at the at the uh, milk cans or, or trying to get a ring over the goldfish or whatever it was. The, the, they used to have little games where you could uh, shoot water guns and race horses. And so I thought, why not try to make my own version of this game for Minecraft here, guys? And so that's what we got going for you today. So we're going to come over to this chest. We're going to get a bow and arrow out. Alright guys, well this game has a couple levels of difficulty. First off, you just come in on the yellow square and you just take aim and try to shoot off one of the items inside of the item frame. As you see, the one you shoot off will turn off just like so. But if you wanted a little more difficulty, you could get in the minecart, take some aim, see if you could shoot them just like that. And I can't, I'm terrible. Here it goes. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, I just lost a point. See, the thing, if you, lose, if you shoot off the item frames, then you actually lose a point. So, yeah, let's take a look at how this works. And so this light came on because... Down in this hopper down here, we'll, we'll have the item and we will have... The item frame and the item frame if I could get that back out here um, makes that light turn back on because it sends a signal strength high enough that uh, the light will turn back on with enough items in there so yeah it's a it's it's a fairly simple bit of redstone uh, but it does have some logic behind it so let's take a look at that actually let's go step by step on how to build this thing guys the things you want to do is figure out how many of the um, targets you want to have. I think I went with eight. So let's just build, we'll build four. How about that? Build four. So what you want to do is you want to place um, two, I mean, your four hoppers in the ground at ground level. And then you're going to dig down. One level behind it, and you're going to place your comparators like that. Here, I believe you can go ahead and place your other four hoppers just like that on top of the original. Now, what you're going to want to do is from here, you're going to want to place a line of blocks up like that, and then you're going to want to come down and have a line of blocks just like this. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your colored blocks for your targets. You can use concrete, you can use terracotta, or you can use wool. So what we'll go ahead and do with the same colors that we had. And we'll do the first four. And uh, yeah, this one's got an orange in it, doesn't it? Uh, so what we want to do is just come up like this, too high all the way across. And even a third all the way across. Next thing you're going to want to do is get your item frame, if I can find it, out of. It's in here some There it is. <clears throat> Take your item frame, put it on this level. And then you're going to want to go ahead and take your redstone block and raise that up by one there. And then take and put comparators there on the back side of that. Once that happens, you can place blocks in here. You'll be able to see that those will light up because they're reading the items from the item frames. Next step will be to go ahead and place your lamps on the very top there. <clears throat> All right, so what we then want to do is bring a block set of blocks out of the comparators just like that with um a redstone torch place your redstone torches on there like so with blocks on top place another row of blocks right here heaters 
on standard tick and then another set of is just like that. So if you see if we remove that, then that will turn off. The right one back in there. Yeah, you can even rotate those to make them look cool if you want. Okay, so what we want to do down here is we want to extend this out one more, and then we're going to go down even one further. Make this row, and these can come out if you like. Place uh, repeaters there, and then we're going to cover all of this with redstone dust. You're going to want to come up by one there. And then you're going to put torches on the back side, blocks on top, torches there, like so. And then again, and again, and again. Now these should be. on the off state we will come down to this bottom one we can place 21 items of any stackable item inside of these hoppers here on the bottom just like so That'll give us a signal strength of one here. So this line of redstone here should be lit up. And yeah. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it right there. Okay, guys. Well, it should look something like this right here. And that's that's pretty much uh, pretty much it on the redstone end. Now I will say I used the yellow here and we have yellow in this. Um, I would make sure that I used something that I did not use inside of the game as a uh, as your stackable blocks in here. That way, when you knock that one off and goes in, it just doesn't merge. Help help confusion down the long run. So basically, what you'd want to do now is just figure out how you'd want to cover it up. You've seen how I did that one there. It's not really uh, not really that big of a deal either way. The only thing you can't cover up is really nothing. You, there's nothing you can break with this redstone uh, by adding blocks around it. So we're just going to do that. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab Bruce. Take our Bruce logs here and here. You guys are actually going to want to break that out so that you can reach the, uh, the bottom hoppers. So you can go ahead and fill all this in like that. And that way when you step in, you can reach here, right? Uh, you're going to need to be able to do that. And let's, let's just get some uh, stone bricks. And do something like this. Fill all the sides in, in the top. Maybe come out like that. Give you a little bit of a design, then you can grab a stair block. Do something different. Let's just go all with quartz here. Put your quartz here like this. Do a rounded top if you like. And something like this in your world could look pretty nice. And then if you wanted from there, just go ahead and add yourself a walkway. I used the path block over there. I thought it looked really good, but you can use whatever you like. And you're going to want to extend this out. Really, it doesn't matter how far, as far as you want to extend it. And then when you're down as far as you want to go, you can add a track in for the more difficult bit. Uh, 
tracks. I will just use all powered rails. And the redstone here is just so simple. You put a lever there and it powers it all. Turn it off or turn it on. And you just take your shots from here and uh, keep track of your points. Um, guys, if you want a little more detailed build of one, here it is. Um, very easy to cover up. And will look really good in your world, guys. Be creative, guys. Send me some screenshots of what you did in your world if you build this. And uh, anyways, guys, until next time, hope you enjoyed. Happy Minecrafting. This has been Ike uh, bringing you tutorials and inspiring you with ideas to hopefully help you survive and thrive in Minecraft. Until next time later, bye-bye.